Hey everybody, uh, as we await the keynote um, from Commissioner Starks, um, I just wanted to quickly put a plug in for another one of the Internet Education Foundation's projects. My name is Joseph Alessi. Uh, I am the director of the Congressional App Challenge. And for all of those of you uh, who were tuned in uh, for the session uh, with Nick Sinai and Matt Lira, you may recall uh, we had our Alumni Advisory Board President, Albert Howe, do the introduction for that session. Um, so for those of you who may not know, the Congressional App Challenge is the official student STEM competition of the United States House of Representatives. It's been going on in some form uh, since the rules were passed to approve it in 2013. Uh, and it's a competition unlike anything else that's going on uh, in the world. Uh, last year, 308 members of Congress hosted independent Congressional App Challenges in their districts uh, for thousands of students across 49 states. Um, obviously, this year was majorly affected uh, by COVID and the fallout from that. Education was one of the most affected uh, fields when it came to COVID, especially youth education. Um, so the Congressional App Challenge was there um, as a program that mostly uh, stands in as a remote competition to help fill some of the critical gaps that were left when students were unable to attend school in person. Um, you know, the United States House of Rep Representatives was able to stand in um, and to inspire students to continue to pursue uh, passion for STEM and a career in these fields. Um, during COVID, we did a number of different, really interesting, innovative things, including partnering for Build for COVID, which was a very early, um, a very early hackathon to help build solutions for businesses. Uh, we launched our Code at Home program along with our partners, um, which was an incredibly, um, incredibly inspiring opportunity for students uh, to hone their skills while they were uh, at home in April. Um, and then during this year's Congressional Op Challenge, we hosted a series of back to school webinars um, to give students an opportunity to get hands on learning um, from folks um, like the US Patent and Trade Office, um, our friends at Apple, and a number of other organizations. Uh, the Congressional Op Challenge in 2020 closed in November. Um, and uh, of the thousands of apps we received, over 50% of those apps responded in some way to um, how COVID was affecting the community that these students lived in. So these are locally serving apps, um, really, really inspiring stuff that's going on with these students uh, and really amazing to see, to oversee this program. Um, as you may have noticed earlier, we also have an amazing fledgling alumni network of young um, students who are just working their way through college now. Uh, that is an organization uh, that Albert leads, um, but is a, a group of about 10 students who help us uh, advise the program um, and continue outreach. Uh, this year, earlier this year, we had them put together a video talking about why it was so important um, for the Congressional Op Challenge to continue to go on and what inspired them when they were still in high school to compete in the program. And so I'm going to quickly play that video for you guys now to get a sense of why this program is so important to the students that it serves. I decided to submit an application to the Congressional App Challenge because I was excited about my coding project. The App Challenge seemed like a great way to showcase my project and get together with other friends to code. Also, the App Challenge sounded really interesting. It's a congressional program for coding for thousands of young coders across the nation. How cool is that? Um, what motivated me to participate in the Congressional App Challenge was that I created a really interesting app that not only could serve Puerto Rico, but also the whole nation. And I wanted to show um, what I had done at a level greater than just Puerto Rico. And in the Congressional App Challenge, let me um, reach more people with my app. Yeah, so when I applied to the Congressional App Challenge in 2018, I definitely didn't have, you know, a very specific plan. I wasn't like, you know, I'm going to meet this congressperson, I'm going to network with this, you know, this office. And I don't think it was, it wasn't, it wasn't that uh, clearly defined. But what I did want was, you know, I think it's what a lot of high school students want, is I wanted some affirmation, you know. 
is there a place in tech for someone like me? You know, can I succeed in this industry? And I think that, you know, the challenge definitely provided that. And, and even if we hadn't won, I think just the, the support network and the, the experience of building an app and prototyping and working with a team of other students was really valuable and it made me a lot more confident in myself. I originally submitted an app to the challenge back in 2018 because I wanted to learn more about app development while also being able to connect with students who share the same interests as I did. My reason for submitting an app to CSC was because I felt my app could be useful in my own community. Um, the app I submitted focused in targeted students and helped them stay on task despite constant distractions from their phone while rewarding them for doing so. Um, it was a simple app with a lot of room to grow, but I took a chance to try to make an impact on a problem that affected my community. So I participated in the very first CAC actually, way back in 2015, 2016. And my app was called Electoral College History, not really creative naming. And the reason why I created that, as is pretty obvious by the year, we were in the midst of the 2016 election. Um, and this was the first time that a lot of my friends and I were getting engaged in the political process. Coupled that with the fact that I was taking a push at the time, and I wanted to have an easy way to look through the political history of the U.S. and make interactive prediction maps that I could share with my friends. All right. And so, uh, I mean, you know, the, what these students have been able to do is really absolutely incredible. And um, we're so proud of what the program has been able to accomplish. Uh, we're building a, a strong domestic pipeline of computer science talent uh, and STEM talent in every corner of the United States. And we can't wait to see where that takes us. We do this all on a very short budget of under $1,000 per district. And so there's lots of room to get involved. Um, if you're interested in getting involved in the Congressional App Challenge, please reach out to us. Our website is congressionalappchallenge.us.